what exactly is Lens Prism, what does it do, and how does it help Kubernetes users who are dealing with a lot of complexity? As you may know, uh, Lens is uh, one of the most popular, if not the most popular, uh, IDE for Kubernetes uh, and cloud native development. Um, with that, we provide uh, essentially contextual awareness um, uh, to your clusters, uh, vis visibility to um, logs, reporting, uh, et cetera, in a very uh, user-friendly uh, and beautiful UI. Uh, so taking you from essentially command line and terminal uh, into something that's graphically easy to understand, uh, again, reducing the complexity, uh, especially when dealing with complex infrastructure. How it's further complement what Lens ID already does. Right. So, so just quickly, what, what Lens Prism is, is our, as you said, our uh, essentially AI assistant inside of Lens. Uh, and as in following with kind of Lens value proposition and really vision uh, of reducing complexity, um, we looked at solutions and ways to um, really fight through the noise and give actionable data and insights to developers. And so when we looked at um, different ways of implementing AI solutions, we found that um, putting this putting this uh, at the fingertips of developers um, takes it beyond uh, just entering commands to make fixes, but gives you actionable insights uh, and has, lets you have essentially conversations with this AI agent um, or AI uh, assistant. In this case, um, so what we found is that um, our kind of sweet spot with developers is going to be uh, new developers to the Kubernetes space um, that you know maybe are, don't know all the commands that they can run, um, don't know you know really how to fix the problems, and so if you have an embedded AI assistant uh, inside of Lens, you really get surfaced information a lot faster, um, and then you get some insights and action items of where should I go to fix this or how to fix this, and even commands to tell you what to fix. Right. Can you also talk about what else is new in this release? So one other thing that came out in this uh, this release with with Lens uh, is that we've, we've also created a new connection mechanism to AWS. Uh, so EKS clusters, um, you know, as as we've seen, there's a lot of complexity. And again, back to our value proposition of simplifying uh, the complex. Um, the the traditional method is, you know, going and getting cube config file. Uh, a lot of times that requires some some effort from the developer, right? Um, and so what we've done is uh, created a connection with AWS, allowing users to go in and sign in, single sign on, uh, and whatever is in their profile. So any number of clusters that are in their profile are automatically in input into Lens. Um, so while it's you know just a, a technical kind of connection, uh, we expect that to also grow uh, in our ability to connect to other things inside of AWS infrastructure, for example. Um, and we also expect to, to expand this to other cloud providers. Um, but the nice thing about it is so as a cluster is removed from your um, your profile in AWS, for example, uh, due to permissions, what have you, some tech policy change in departments, any of that, um, the cluster is also removed from visibility inside of Lens. And so it's it stays up to date. Um, and as clusters are added, they are into your AWS profile. They're also added into, uh, into Lens. And so with that, you have up-to-date cluster information, you have a simplified you know, connection time, and then you have this AI assistant on top of this that connects and can go in and find out all the information uh, for you about what's going on and what's happening uh, to find greater efficiencies in your, in your infrastructure. 